Hey guys, it's me, Jim Kincaid, and I've got Manjaro Linux i3 running on my MacBook. This is an old clunky plastic MacBook from 2008. Look, it's 2017 now, and this thing is running beautifully, and I love it. And let me tell you something, I was looking to bring a computer on the road with me, but I didn't want to bring my MacBook Pro. It's just too expensive for the traveling that I do in the oil field. It would get broken, lost, stolen. As you can see now, uh, I'm in a Holiday Inn. Pretty swanky Holiday Inn. To get Google Chrome going, you know, I hit Open Apple D and select Google. Google. This is Google Chrome, okay? And, you know, let's test it out on the Drudge Report, okay? Bang! It's firing up, you know? We can scroll down, you can scroll down using the mouse. I'm doing a two finger scroll. It's great, you know, you wanna punch up a website? Let's look at this one. Villagers worship miracle baby Cyclops goat. You know, the buttons worked right out of the box. The guys who did this at, at uh, Manjaro did a great job. Uh, I totally erased the, the Mac OS. This is all Linux. Connecting Wi-Fi is easy. It all, it all worked after install. I didn't need to hit configure uh, anything. We just click on this little Ethernet hole. Wi-Fi networks. I'm at the Holiday Inn, so I use this. And boom. Connection established. I am now connected to the Wi-Fi. When I travel, I bring this with me, because if I do ever stay at a hotel, uh, you know, I can plug that in. It connects to the local area network, which has a, a beefier, better signal. And I'm going to hit Open Apple 2, and I'm going to a whole different desktop. Okay? Now, in this desktop, I'm going to hit Open Apple D, and I'm going to open up GIMP to show you that you could do image processing on this. This is like Photoshop, but it's free. Okay? Now, for this, I'm not going to use as much of the keyboard. i3 is designed that you can navigate everything with a keyboard. The GIMP that, that is on here is all one window, so the tiling system is not used on GIMP. And I'll make another video to kind of show you more. But let's punch up this picture of this bacon, okay? And add another layer, all right? And why don't we draw a smiley face, you know, right on the bacon. Oh, look, the eyes are already there. It's a bacon face, okay? And I'll get another workspace going. You hit Open Apple, Enter, and there's a terminal, right? L, S. You know, it shows all the directories and everything. You don't have to use a terminal. It does come with a file browser. You can mouse around. But realistically, you know, you're going to want to know enough about Linux. It's a, it's pretty advanced. It's not like Mac OS or elementary OS. This is from Quids Up. I highly recommend his, his uh, YouTube channel. But he, he looked at all the different uh, Linux desktops and saw how much memory they were using. And Unity which is the first thing I installed on this computer, it was just too, it did not work. Its requirements were just too advanced for this old computer. And I didn't try any of the other ones like Mate, Cinnamon, or the uh, Gnome. These are very popular ones. It just, look how much memory they use. It's just too much. Unity hung up all the time. So here's i3. It uses just a fraction of the memory that these more advanced systems use. Using i3 is, a, you know, it's exactly what I want a computer to do. You know, like here I've opened up a new terminal window just by hoping, holding open Apple and hitting return. I'll make another video to, to kind of give you more of a rundown on the i3 system. But for the purpose of its memory requirements, it, it, it's an excellent system for revitalizing old hardware, which I've done here. So thank you to everyone at the Manjaro i3 community. This is a great system. I love it. I'm Jim Kincaid. Thanks for watching.